Thomas, Toby, and the other green engine. One day, Percy wasn't feeling well. His joints were stiff, and he couldn't move. I'm sorry, but this, but this means you have to go to the works, said Sir Topham Hatt. Percy was still sad when Edward took him away to the works. Before you two ask, yes, I am getting another engine to help cover for Percy, said Sir Topham Hatt, and he left. I hope it's going to be Ro I hope it's Rosie who's going to help us, said Thomas. I hope it's going to be Duck that will help us, confided Toby. The two engines were shocked when they heard a whistle. They were also shocked to find out that it wasn't Duck and it wasn't Rosie. It was Alfred. Well, 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 he said. Who's in the shants? A worn out blue puffball and a wooden hippopotamus? You are so rude, said Toby. Thomas was cross as well. I've heard so much about you, Alfred. You caused trouble when you first came to the island, puffed Thomas. Pah! chuffed Alfred. You did hear my story, but from who? I know for a fact, chuffed Toby, that Mallard told me all about you. Oh, not Mallard. He's always Mr. Goody Two Wheels. Do your work at once, growl, snorted Alfred. He'll be in trouble soon, said Thomas and Toby. Later, Alfred backed down onto Percy's mail cars and bumped them. Ooh, no, said one car. You're very rude and nasty, said another as Alfred steamed away. He kept bumping them across bridges. Alfred also kept bumping them through tunnels. Take that, you red outdated boxes on wheels! He snorted. They came to Gordon's Hill. Then there was trouble. Alfred bumped the mail cars so hard that they rolled down backwards down the hill. The runaway mail train raced by a very surprised Emily. Then they bumped into Martinko, who was going to the sheds. She and the runaway mail train fell into a ditch. Alfred went slower and slower. Then, he came to a complete stop. He ran out of coal and water. His driver was cross. All this could have been avoided if you had taken on more coal and water, he scolded. Later, Donald came to take Alfred back to the other railway. When he got there, he shunted Alfred to a water tower. Then, Alfred's firebox was filled with coal. I have been sent back here again, growled Alfred as Donald left. As Alfred came to the sheds, there stood the other railway controller. He was not happy.
Alfred. I just got off the phone with Sir Topham Hatt. He said that you have been rude to Thomas and Toby, bumped Percy's mail cars, made Martinko have an accident. Not only that, but you also ran out of coal and water on a siding. The diesels in the sheds laughed. He 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 ha 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 ha. They went. If any of that happens again, he finished, I will take away your green coat and have you painted red. Alfred said nothing. He had nothing more to say as he reversed into his shed.